Hey everybody, Krampus here, and uh, I've done a video before of the strong suit gloves, and those are more airsoft related gloves. This is First Tactical, and First Tactical does a lot of what I consider more real world, real steel environments like police gloves, military gloves. These are designed not for airsoft use, but could be used for that. These are what I would consider more of a real world environment glove. So we're going to start off pretty simple. This is what I consider their lowest profile glove. It's a nice breathable material on one side, almost feels like, like a stretchy spandex on the one side. On this side, we have almost like a weird leather sheen to the bottom of it, and a nice way of Velcroing it onto the glove, which is really nice and solid. Now, this particular glove is touchscreen friendly, so this is all touchscreen fabric, that makes sense. Um, it's a Kevlar resistance, to cut and, uh, for cutting the palm. So all of this is actually anti-cut material and it's uh, synthetic leather on the palm. So that's why it's a weird kind of feel to it. Quite unique, but very low profile for wearing on the gloves. So probably you'd see a police officer with one of these very lightweight tuckable into a vest. The next one is this one. This is the next step up. So this one here has little rubber indents on the knuckles. Again, it feels like that little sheen spandex feel. The tips have like a little leather coating on, and this does feel a lot more like leather on this side. And there's some breathing holes on the index finger and breathing material on both sides of each finger, giving you some airflow while you're wearing these leather so that it doesn't make your hands sweat. Again, these are for touch, so you can use them on, again, all your electronics. You can perform and breathable, and it has uh, a goat skin leather. So that's goat skin leather for durability. So this is, again, a little bit different. This is not the consider an anti-cut version. This just has a nice leather palm on it. So guys, that is another option. Now we're getting to my favorite ones. This is the one you will see. I know some of our local police down here wear them. Um, I know some OPP guys that wear them. Um, this is not an issued glove, but it should be, as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, as you can see, the outside looks a lot more uh, tactical with the honeycomb patterning, but on this pattern, it's actually all like a rubber texture on it. However, it's not quite rubber because this is actually heat resistant. So this glove, I'm just gonna read the back, um, it's level two Cavalar cut resistant. Again, it's goat skin with the leather durability, but this is also the flame one. So that way it's slash and flash hardened knuckles. So this you can actually um, absorb some heat on without it melting or fusing to your skin. That's why they've designed it like this. The goat leather creates a nice pattern in here to cause less uh, abrasion to the hand if you're getting slashed or poked. So it's an anti-cut glove. Again, very durable. And again, all of the designs on these gloves we're designed for extreme tight fit. So my big hands are gonna need a 2XL because it won't fit on me on a, just an extra large. So that's a lot of things into a few gloves. They've also put in, as I've noticed, little hard rubber knuckles on there to give your knuckles some more protection. So again, awesome gloves. I would highly recommend these ones just because of the anti-cut resistance and the heat. But this company, First Tactical, does produce a lot of nice tactical hand grips for real world scenarios. You guys should come in, check them out, um, check their webpage out. They also make backpacks, uh, belts, shoes, boots, the whole nine yards. Good company. I can highly suggest First Tactical. Hope to talk to you all soon. Bye.